Hello everyone and welcome back to Zilanka, the premium expansion pack for FS22. We have some more drilling to do. We've got our canola drilled in here, which is great to see. It's fully fertilized somehow. Let me just check. Oh, I don't know how it's fully fertilized, but it is. We are going to be heading up to 72 and 76, our big field, and there will be more canola going in that. And also, potatoes will be going in 57. Obviously, that's when we are able to sow potatoes later, or well, earlier in the next year. And in 53 and 54, we're going to join together today in this episode, and that will be ready for sunflowers because we need sunflower oil in our factory down here. I do want to save up for 58. I've decided I'm going to put olive groves in field 57 or grapes, and then vice versa in 58. So this field will be, say olive groves, this field will be pines. So then I could put a little yard here somewhere along the edge of this and keep all the small machinery we need for the vine and the grove work. Um, that's just my idea. I've kind of just been looking around and seeing of little ideas what I want to do with the map. And I will be glad to say people, uh, if I could find it now, I don't know where it's actually gone. Uh, Nessus will be happy. I have got... The pack he was on, or the harvester he was on about in a previous comment, where it's a multi-fruit harvester. So, the standard vegetable harvester is here. It doesn't have a tank, onboard tank. So, it harvests, obviously, with the header, and then up and out the conveyor belt and straight into the trailer. It's like a forage harvester. It's just, there's no, you have to have a trailer beside it at all times. But if we got the beat, we got this. I did find it, it popped up. And it does potatoes, sugar beet, sugar canes, weirdly enough. Um, that's cotton, I think. Um, carrots, red beet, and parsnips. So, I presume there's a header for the front. I'm just guessing. Oh, it does remap stuff. Whoa. Wow, you can change it to a million. Uh, holy shit, yeah. That's not going to be needed, but 60,000 would be loads. But yeah, that's absolutely ideal. Um, and then there's the different headers. Standard, fast, unreal. Wow, yeah, this is cool. Didn't realize all this was on it, but yeah, this is going to be handy for our parsnips, our carrots, and our red beet is really what that's going to be for. I maybe even potatoes because we are going to do potatoes, so that would be ideal. And I have looked at some equipment for the vines and groves. I won't show you them quite yet, but I have got a tractor I want to use, a McCormick. And I've got some sprayers, and I might even get some more stuff. I'll have to have a look, grubbers and mulchers and stuff. So I will look into that and maybe download a few more, but I will show them when it's closer to the time of getting the vines. But anyway, if you like Farm Simulator, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, and don't be afraid to leave a comment and say hello, and leave any suggestions of any mods that you'd like to see me use them. Or any maps you'd like to see me playing on. Or whatever you want me to do even in this series. For any crops to do or whatever. Anyway. Without further ado. Let's head on up to our field. Saw some canola. I forget these numbers already. Field. 72 and 76. Um, I'm going to actually drop Massey off this. I'm going to hook the header up to this, just put it back under cover. I think we are pretty much done with this until next year. So, just park it over here. I do want to buy the bigger equipment for the vegetables harvesters, or the vegetable planters, and stuff like that. That's all what going to be done. We're going to need a bigger cultivator. We have a lot of money uh, we need to spend. And we need to earn a lot of money. So. Just throw that there. Disconnect. Turn that off. I will use the mass or the JCB on this. Because we also need bigger tractors. To pull bigger implements. So. Yeah it's. We need a lot of money and quick. So we need to really. Keep on top of buying fields, which is I know spending money, but you can't earn money without spending money, so that's the way I look at it. So if we spend more money on some extra fields, that means we can sow extra crops, that means we're gonna get more income. 
and we need to keep on top of priority with uh, doing productions and all sorts like that. So, actually, let me just check. I'm pretty sure we have sorghum in our tank. Yeah. So, when is this at its best price? January. Okay. It's fair enough. Sell that at its best time. The canola we're selling, or the canola we have now, will be. Also, let me just check. We do have canola oil, so. It's best in November. So, we could sell what we have. I mean, we're not going to have potatoes till the end of next year, so then we have loads more canola and sunflowers by then, so. We could sell some for the canola oil that we actually have right now. Well, in November. Um, at 6,000 a pallet. And I'm pretty sure we have like 10, 10 pallets over there at the minute. So, yeah, we could have a lot of money from pallets. And we have a lot of soup to sell. Um, yeah, we will do canola in this as well. It's the only thing we can actually plant this time of year. So, it shouldn't be too bad with this tractor. This tractor should be a bit quicker than the Massey. It shouldn't struggle. Yeah, not a bother to it. So, yeah, 18 kilometers an hour. That's perfect. So, without further ado, we'll get this in the ground nice and quick. It already has one stage of fertilizer because I do have the straw mod activated where it gives us an extra layer of fertilizer with the chopped straw. Because I'm not planning on doing any animals, so. We don't need straw, so we might as well chop it and get the benefit of having an extra stage of fertilizer. So I'm going to start time lapse. We'll burst this over, get this field done and dusted, get the other fields that I want to join together, joined together. And we need to sell our soup that we have, and I will probably jump to November then and sell what canola oil we have, and we'll see what sort of money we have then. Um, yeah, we also need a bigger harvester. So that's going to be roughly half a million, I would imagine. Again, we buy a big harvester and header. And a, probably even a trailer for the header. That's definitely going to be four or five, maybe even 600,000 um, by itself. So, yeah, we need bigger tractors. We could do with getting rid of the Massey and the Fiat at some stage. Because we're going to need more tractors like this JCB with over 200 horsepower up as far as maybe even 300 horsepower. So... They're also not there, they're also two, three, four hundred thousand per tractor. We're going to need to buy the olive grove and the grapevine tractors, the narrow little small tractors, and all the implements. It's the list goes on, but we have a lot to grind for, and this map is going to be a hell of a lot of fun doing that. So, anyway, yeah, for the fourth time or fifth time, I'm going to stop talking and get this time lapse underway. And we're just about done. We do have one strip left, an annoyingly narrow strip. I would be tempted to leave it, but I know it's just going to annoy me, so I'm going to go and just bring it back up. Because I would just get so annoyed leaving that there, it would be on my conscience forever with my OCD. I'd have to just have it right. Okay guys, I 
Like just after coming across field beside us, field 73. I just knocked down a sign. Is actually ready to harvest and it's parsnips. Um I don't think it'd be a bad show to buy it, because I do want to expand. Um I'd like to expand down here. Obviously have all these, these, maybe even these, join these two together and have these three big fields. Um I'd like to go big with this and even we could do an obnoxiously absurd thing and buy all six of these fields and join all these as one big field. We could do something crazy, like aim for just mad things like on this map. I just want to have fun with it. That's all I want to do. So I'm tempted to buy this. It is I did have a look, it's 14,000. Um buy it. It's not that bad. And we could test out that new harvester I got, which would be a great show, I think. So I'm going to buy it. Um Bosh, we bought it. Back to the map overview, and as you can see here, it is the parsnips. And it is ready to harvest and it is fully fertilized. So I think yeah, definitely worth doing that. Um, because we have a soup factory and there's like once the red bee is finished in that, it's finished in it. There's no point having the factory there doing nothing. So we might as well, for the sake of 14,000, buy that field. And I'm sure with what money we're going to get out of the soup from them parsnips. Especially since it's double fertilized. We're going to make way more than 14,000. So... I could buy 73 and then buy 77 when there's no corn in it. And join the four of them together. Possibly. And have that big field. Again. Just hit me with comments. Let me know what you think. I just want to have so much fun with this. And do crazy stuff. I know we're going to need a lot bigger implements. If we're going to start having massive fields like that. But no problem. We have big fields. We have big income. Because we're going to have so much more crops. So we shouldn't have a problem. And like I said. We really need to ma maneuver or like strategically use our factories and have them running constantly all the time do a mix match of all types of uh, crops not to be doing the same stuff all the time that if we have the oil factory going with the canola vegetable factory going with any one of the vegetables have the potato processing plant going with the potatoes have the grain mill going with wheat or barley like i just want everything pumping full whack all the time I think it'd make for a very interesting series and definitely a hell of a lot of fun. So we can dump that off. Harvester or the drill. I'm going to jump in the lorry and I'm going to run down and sell what soup we have at the minute. Or should I skip to November? No. Um, yeah, maybe I should wait and in November we should sell the soup and the oil all together. So, yeah, what I'm going to do then is rent uh, this thing. We'll leave the 60,000. Uh, the engine setup's not a problem. Tires not a problem. Colors aren't a problem. So we lease it for 10. Then we're going to need a header. So we need the parsnip header. And we'll go normal because I don't want to... I don't want to do this silly fucking shit. So if there's 100k, like, harvesting, it's a bit silly. So 20 kilometers probably will be fine. And we can just lease that. It should be 500 quid. So, perfect. So, we're not going to need a head header trailer. This is it. As you can see, it does have a big massive hopper. And it holds 60,000 litres. Which is a bit insane. But you can hold up to a million in it. Which is mad, really. With the mod. But... Uh, which side does this go on? That side, of course it does. This is a cool machine. I'm glad I glad I finally found it. Thank you so much, DJ Nessus. I have not stopped searching for this since you mentioned it. Crab steer is very handy. Crab steer. Yeah. So we get this up. We will probably do some of it myself. Um we need to get the JCB on that big trailer and bring that up. And yeah, um, this is great. I'm glad I caught that. And we get to use this new machine that I found. I was searching for it for so long and I finally came across it. I'm so happy. 
I hope this is the one he's on about, but this is a multi fruit harvester, so. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. This is going to be so much more better. That we don't have to have a trailer running constantly beside it. And it's a lot wider. So, yeah, here. Yeah, it's definitely a lot wider of a machine as well, a header. But it's just going to be round, all around way better for the vegetables. So glad mods exist and the modders, they're just geniuses how they come up with stuff and how they're able to do it. So, I will probably unfold. Probably put across the bottom once or twice. And he's a little fast, I think, maybe. Um, let's see, I might drop it back to maybe 15. I know it's great to have the speed and all, but it's just, again, I don't want it to be too unrealistic. I want to have a lot of fun, but I don't want it to be ridiculously unrealistic. Let's see how it goes, but I'll start our time lapse and we'll burst this out with as quick as we can. And we can sell our stuff and join our other fields together. But it's amazing, and I know the whole lot is going to fit in the tank because it's a 60,000 year tank but look well it might actually we're already on 10,000 so it might not all fit but we do have a worker we can get him to do some result so I'll probably just draw a straight line across this is a great machine wow I just go dead straight across here, should be fine. Anyway, I'm going to start a time lapse and um, we'll see how much we get done. Hey, we're going back for hopefully the last load. I just want to know, did you guys notice the unload rate on that harvester? It's insane. I know it harvests fast, it drives fast, everything, but like, wait till you see in real time. I, I know it's probably hard to tell with time lapse, but in real time, how, how much this unloads. Like, it's insane. It's unbelievable. 
I understand why not. Like, that unload rate is insane. It's probably hard to tell in a time lapse, but that was it in real time. I didn't speed it up. That was it. So we'll go back with this load. I'll tip this in. I'll come back for the half load or for some, probably only, how much is that? 2,900 litres. Getting that mod is on the left hand side, the vehicle info mod. Uh, absolutely brilliant mod. Again, thanks, thanks to DJ Nessus. Amazing shout out to him for showing me that mod. Um, yeah, as you can see, 2,993 litres left, which is like a handful. So, yeah, we will. I'll dump this, go back, get that, return the harvester, and we need to sell. We need to move on to November, and we need to sell whatever pallet spawn between now and then which I think is going to be a scary amount and then we also need to harvest or sell our, can our canola oil that all needs to go in November as well so we're we're in for a serious amount of money here um, yeah and it's going to be well needed so what we're going to spend it on yet I am not sure but like at the start of the episode I have named a list of stuff so we have so much to buy so it's we need all the money we can get. We need to keep these productions tipping over as much as we can. So I would probably sow red beet or something along those lines or carrots maybe in that field where we just harvested these now. and um, Just so that we can keep this factory going all the time. I want to always have a production going in this factory whether it's carrots, parsnips or beet. Same with the oil. I want to have sunflowers when we get the olives, olives, canola. I want something in that factory it running all the time and the same with our like when we get our uh processing food plant and our potato processing i just want all the time all the time all the time going 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 i want it relaxing around because we need money 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 income all the time and then pallets are the only way to do it so i'll get this like i said tip this out um return the harvester and bring the lorry over to the soup factory and we will be in November then, and I will, yeah, I um, we probably could do a load of fertilizing then at the start of the next episode on that canola field we just drilled. I'll also have to see when we have to drill our, uh, when we have to plant our vegetables and stuff, so I'm going to have to look at all that. Still not used to when vegetables need to be just sowed or planted. So we have very little money left, we had leasing costs and stuff there because we do lease the lorry. It is under lease but it's we have a thing called lease to buy. So it's slowly reducing the price on it and we can purchase it at some stage when we have enough money but it's slowly reducing every month. We pay a, an instalment of it, it drops the price so at the end of the 132000 we will own it, it will be ours so very cool mod. Uh, I don't want to... Uh, overuse it i suppose there isn't a lorry now that wouldn't be a bad show which is a seventy-six thousand. this came at the wrong time we don't really need it at the minute but we would need a lorry like that to pull an arctic trailer with a saddle on it we will need a tractor unit like that but and uh, not right now it's just not the ideal time we need to load up these pallets we have 23 red beet pallets and 14 parsnip pallets as well as these so we're gonna have Hell of a lot. I'm guessing the canola has ran out. Yep, yeah, no more canola, so I'll just deactivate that. And um, we've yeah, two two, two pallets over there plus whatever's on the ground. So er, we have a hell of a lot to load up. So I will time lapse probably as much as this as I can. It'll probably take a while, but I will yeah do what I can.
And we're just about done with the loading of the soup anyway. Um, as you can see there was a hell of a lot of pallets. And I did all load them by hand, or by forklift, I mean properly so. Not a bad stack. Um, I'm sure there's lads out there that can do it a lot neater than me, but I think I done well. Some pretty neat stacking. The forklift. Considering I don't drive one in real life. <laughs> Or, considering I don't use one in Farm Simulator all the time, I don't think it was a bad effort. Um, better on in my sight times. Oh! I'm going to load the canola ones by hand, I'll just chuck them up on top. Uh, we need to get to the best sell point then. So let's just load it down. Oh. And we're here. A lot of canola. A lot. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pallets of this. So we'll just check where canola goes, the best place. Um, yeah, Berlingrad, and I presume the canola oil is the same. Yeah, by a long, by a thousand quid actually, holy crap. Yeah. So I will get loading. Um. I'll try and do it as neatly as possible, but no guarantees because this is tedious. Finally, I have this on. This took way too long, even with super strength. Holy crap. Woo! That was ridiculous. Anyway. Just so let's go anywhere while we are walking up now let's see how much we get for this that was a nightmare I'm never doing that again holy crap there we go let's see our lorry go flying hopefully not the pallets My god. Out of the This is a nightmare. I hope they patch this. Well, it's safe to say we got a lot of money. I just don't know if it's all after being sold. So. Don't see any more pallets anywhere. Nothing works in on that train. My god. 
Well, it is better to go this way than the side with the bridge because that's ridiculous. Everything just falling in the water. But anyhow, we got it. That was heartbreaking stuff. That really is heartbreaking stuff. But we've all the better. We have 400,000 in the bank, wow. We are back at the farmyard, and holy crap. Yeah, a nice uh, income of stuff to sell. Now, can you imagine, like, we have more stuff? Like, we have more oils to sell, more soups to sell, more packets of crisps to sell, everything. It's going to be a hectic, hectic time. With 400,000, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was really, really hectic. We got a lot done. We got another field drill. We got a field harvested of parsnips. Um, yeah, it was, we got a lot sold, we got a lot of money, so yeah, very, very hectic. Hope you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like button, make sure you hit subscribe, and I will chat to you guys in the next episode of Zilanka. Goodbye.